in we go. Small collapse here that we can get past. That's the little collapse we just passed. There's a bat hanging on the wall back there that we just missed. So this takes a, a right turn, not a not a 90 degree, a little a little less than 90. Fairly uneventful so far. We've been going for oh, a few hundred feet, several hundred feet, I guess. Look, another collapse coming. Looks passable though. Here's a nice wooden chute. Okay, back on our feet again after that little collapse there. What's up? Just Look at the sheer slabs there. <laughs> nice tall at it, probably. Five and a half, eight feet at least. A little more. Yep, this is the big contact zone. That sheer wall. This side too. That burned out mine that we explored is above us here. In fact, it should be, we should be there by now. Okay. <laughs> Here's some 2x4 track with a steel strap on top of it. They must have taken the rest of it out and reused it, but not here. That's always fun to see, isn't it? Yeah, that's another one of those big shafts. There's something hanging right up there too. Hmm. I wonder if that's... You know what I bet you that is? I bet you that was looking down from the burned out one. Down one of those, like that one where we crossed. We think we. Oh, God, I thought that was an animal. That what? I thought that was an animal. Julie has the mountain lion alert on. <laughs> well, no. she's, got her, she's got her mountain lion defense mechanism, otherwise known as a trekking pole. I guess I'd rather have that than nothing, though. Give him a good poke in the nose. As you're being mauled. Still have the big slab rock. The big zone here. 
shear zone, contact zone, whatever you like to call it. Looks like there's another collapse coming up. Boy, look at this slab rock here. Isn't that neat? Oh, well, there's track here too. This must have been a major shoot. Look at that, somebody's tried to burn this again. Got a regular arsonist running around here. And it's been burned, there's burned material coming from up above. There's a huge burn up above here. Hmm. Julie has her 99 cent knee pads on. I can't keep up with her crawling. Look at her go. Like a crab. Here's a shot looking up. There's a couple of platforms up there. Here's something I gotta say. The people that do this, I don't know if it's if it's mine exploring clubs or whatever. Why do you paint the inside of these mines? Enough with the arrows and the and the club names this way and that way. Figure it out without painting the mines up, please. You ruin it for the rest of us. Okay, rant over. Boy, this big slab is still going. Isn't that something? They just drifted right along and found that. Boy, is that hot. It's hot. Hot as rain. Humid. Yeah, ooh, wow. Holy crap. Yeah, it's like you're in a sauna. Okay, well the drift is degrading a little bit. It's extremely hot. It's a little softer, I think, because it's it's so humid back here that the, the back of the mine has collapsed a little bit there. Must be some thermal activity here. Underground thermals. The, the material has changed a little bit there. Cut. Uh, maybe a shaft. Nope, nothing. Continuing on. I still have the track here, the two by four track. Be a little cheaper to build that than have the official steel track from a factory. It's funny sometimes it's hot in a mine, usually it's cool most of the time I would say. Sometimes it's hot like this though. This one's definitely warm. Had to chuckle at that last tag, it said Fred Flintstone something AD some year another cross cut tracks kind of end I think the whole thing's coming to an end Is this the dipshit that's been painting everything up around here? That's the end of it.
We are headed back out. Well, we're 2,000 feet on the way out so far. I'm going to keep counting. So it's about three, a little over 3,000 feet back to this um, portal. Um, You got a drill hole? No, but there's something in it. No. Genuine Richter silver reeds made in Germany. It's a harmonica. It is? Yeah, hold on. See? That's the reed. That's those are the reeds there. The wood is rotted off. No way. Look at that. That's so cool. Weird. Did you leave the finder? That's so weird. That is weird. It was in a drill hole, huh? I wonder if somebody must have found it and stuck it in there, huh? Yeah, maybe. Cool. Well, I'll stick it back in there. Maybe somebody else will find it. I'll put it in there a little further. Okay. Well, we're back. Uh, it was about 3,300 feet long of workings in there on that one level. So we're done for the day, but we made it. Good job, Julie. Thanks. Nice job finding the harmonica. That's really cool. Too bad you didn't play a little blues tune. <laughs>